Sony Hyde A7000 Dolby Atmos Soundbar Review At the top level of the soundbar market, two techniques exist. One holds that expensive models justify extra speakers to create strong bass and fitting surround sound. The alternative viewpoint is that a solitary, superior soundbar should have the capacity to generate exquisite treble clarity space, and an atmosphere with sound on its own. Additional units are offered to suit the inclination, dwellings, and wallets of the purchaser. The Sony Hyde A700 is a 7.1.2 sound system, with two up-firing speakers, two beam tweeters, five front-facing drivers, and an integrated dual subwoofer all in one unit. The Hyde A7000 is surprisingly hefty, weighing 8.7 kilograms and standing 8 centimeters tall, making it somewhat taller than most units barely shorter than the Sony A80J OLED TV which it was tested with. The construction is robust and reliable though its design may not be as smooth as some of its rivals. Although its image may be hazy, the included remote control of the A7000 is a reminder of the 90s. This is an appealing additional feature, but what is even more remarkable is the totally incorporated on-screen setup and choices menu that you can use if you have a Bravia TV. Other AV brands have started incorporating symbiotic technology into their soundbars and TVs. However, this setup is one of the most beneficial we've seen so far given all of the resources found within the A7000. Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit, and Google Home are all acknowledged giving it greater flexibility. Regrettably, though, remote control of the soundbar's equalization cannot be done in that manner. Users should utilize the Sony Music Center Android or iOS app to make changes in terms of audio settings, enabling only three bass volume levels on. Additionally, this soundbar features eARC or HDMI out, analog and optical audio inputs, USB Type A, power, and analog output ports. Furthermore, it comes with a cable needed to sync the soundbar with a compatible Compatible Bravia TV that allows the TV to become part of the device's center channel. The design of the port cavity at the back is quite compact, so keep that in mind if you plan to frequently plug and unplug external cables. The A7000 impresses again when it comes to its supported audio formats, providing Dolby Atmos, DTSX, LPCM, wireless high-res audio, and Sony 360 Reality Audio. This spatial technology offers a surround sound experience for listeners, with content available from Tidal, Amazon Music HD, Nugs, and Deezer. The A7000 provides excellent presence when it comes to the dialogue in this film, which is naturally and often quietly spoken. Adding a Sony TV to boost the center channel doesn't drastically change the sound field, but it adds more character and openness to voices.